Here's one question primarily for each of you. Said, what's a memorable example of a specific Decker format at large where the equity players gained from being better than the unwashed masses elevated a middling pile of cards? I'm mainly thinking of all the SCG Tour grinders dunking on the rest of us plebs with Jeskai Control circa 1718, but I'm sure you have others. That Jeskai Control deck sucked. Horrendous. It's like man, I think that was like Mantis Rider, Jeskai Charm. Yeah, it was. Yeah, every every hand had a way to get your opponent to nine and stop <laughs> one card. Yeah, sure, and then sure. you just hope to, <laughs> and then you just hope to draw out or whatever. Yeah, yeah, that deck was fucking horrible. Yeah, that deck was uh, that deck was. Horrible. I thought they meant. I thought. Uh, I, I I guess I didn't. Yeah, that 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 was much earlier. The deck I was thinking of was like, uh. Augur Bolas, Restoration Angel, War Leaders Helix, like that Jeskai deck. The, sure. That deck was sweet. Yeah, yeah sure. That deck was good and had sure. a lot of play to it. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot about the the all three mana Jeskai cards deck. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the deck that Taylor's <laughs> talking about. And then like there's like a Soulfire Grandmaster thrown in there. Oh, yeah, Ooh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look what I can do. Yeah. Uh, okay, so a bad... Okay, so first... That attack, deck, it was basically impossible to not get either screwed or flooded. Yeah. It, like, it needed to make its first six land drops and then and stop. Then stop. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so first deck that comes to mind for me was Boat Brew in the PT format that I top aided, which was basically red-white mid-range, and it just had, like, cards that looked good on paper, like Balefire Leech, but they were all just dog shit, mm-hmm. and it was not even close Bale to Fire a good Leech. deck. And Balefire Leech <laughs> and Siege Gang Commander, and just, like... <laughs> It just, just was not just not a good deck. Well, I got yeah. an anthem and some tokens. <laughs> turn four, <laughs> then turn five, yeah. and then I'm gonna untap. Yeah, it was just bad. <laughs> just not a good deck. Um, that's one of the first ones that comes to mind. I'm trying to think of the devotion era. Mono blue, mono black, and Asper were those were good decks. Those were only decks to play, but those were all like totally fine. Yeah. Um, that's the first one that comes to mind. I'm sure if someone were to ask me questions about like decks, I'd be able to answer and just be like, that deck's awful. Oh, okay. Like the fucking like mono white mid range deck that people just qualified for this uh, PT with, I think is fucking atrocious. It's just a lot of underpowered and bad cards. And I don't think people played enough games to figure out how to beat the deck. And like, you couldn't pay me to register ambitious farmhand. You just can't do it. I'm sorry. So it's decks like that where I just think they stink, uh, personally. Um, I gotta say, uh, I caught some of the coverage on Sunday. Yeah. Not someone who is very familiar with standard. Yeah. The Esper legend deck. Yeah. Holy shit. Is that deck bad? Okay. 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 Hey God. Hey God. I watched it played against Rakdos mid range and I was like, side challenge. Okay. Set aside winning this game. That's never happening. Okay. Sure. Can this person untap with a non land permanent? <laughs> they just like every turn got plague winded. It was so insane. 